morning. My name is Juliana May. I'm an author. Today is Wednesday the 9th, Thursday the 9th, sorry, of November. And I am going with my little brother and my mother and my grandmother and my other little brother to Virginia to Liberty University and he's going to tour the college. And the rest of us are hopefully going to do some fun things. Either way, I'm going on a trip. I'm always down for going on trips, getting out of my hometown, home place home village, whatever you want to call it. It's in Lynchburg. Hopefully there are going to be some fun things to do there and we're just going to come along. There's no beaches, unfortunately. Very unfortunate. It's going to be rather cold. A little bit warmer than where I am now, but it's still going to be pretty cold. So. Not go to Cracker Barrel. <laughs> Grandma? So I thought I'd update you a little bit because I haven't done that at all. Hi. So the first night was just college, just at the college the whole time. We learned things about the college all night and took my brother around. We didn't get him to his dorm until like 1030. You and saw my... someone without a shirt. I was getting there. So we walked him up to the third floor of the dorm that he was supposed to be staying in. We didn't know if we should be up there with him or not. And then these two guys walked out of the dorm and one had a shirt on and it was kind of, I mean, off. One had a shirt on, one had a shirt off. And it was kind of embarrassing. And so we were like, yeah, we should just drop you here and run back down the stairs. So that's what we did. We came back to the hotel. The next morning, we spent most of the morning here at the hotel. We spent a lot of time in traffic. Traffic. We went to a health food store and um, we got some lunch. Then we just came back to the hotel after lots of traffic, after dropping my brother back off at college. I like waffles. <laughs> 
My grandma and I went to Kmart right across the street and bought some games, some entertainment for us while we're just relaxing at the hotel. We got five second roll and speak out. Speak out, you don't want to buy. Yes, you do. It's, it's so a, much only fun. Only if it's the kid's version. Your don't mouth has to be big. You have to have a big mouth. Today we're going to see Santa Claus. And oh, we're going to see John Foreman tonight. I can't wait. He's from Switchfoot. And I love Switchfoot and John Foreman. And we're excited. I'm excited. He's not going. <laughs> Hmm. All right, bathroom time. <laughs> All right, it's bathroom. It's bathroom. so many seats. So many seats. Trapped. <laughs> we gotta be trapped. Uh, you just can't capture the beauty like this on camera, you know? <laughs> it's so dark. It is so dark. It's so neat in here, though. No? Had a dream that I died today. Saw a long line of boxcars in the rain. In the center of the town. And I imagine you there watching them. Put your mark upon the ground. Said you were glad I could know you then To find it's gonna be okay
It's the one that I've tried to write over and over again. What happens next? There you go. I'm home. So the last thing I told you was that I was in the hotel. I was gonna go see Santa Claus and Switchfoot. I picked up my little brother. Well, not I did, but I was a part of the group that picked up my brother. So we picked up my brother. Yeah, we went to eat at the health food store again, Health Nut. And then we went to the mall, which is where Santa was, and we saw Santa. The mall was so prettily decorated. It had so many Christmas decorations up already. It was so nice. So we saw Santa. We rode the train, my brother and I. So that was that was a good time. We did some shopping. And then we went back to Little Caesars to, you know, have some dinner. That's the only thing my little brother will eat for the most part. So we got pizza and hung out at the hotel for a minute. And then we went to see John Foreman. The concert, let me tell you was so excuse me <laughs> so good <laughs> sorry i just drank soda it was so good the guy that came on first was tyson rosenberger some rosenberg so, something <laughs> i hadn't heard of him before but he was so good he was so good he was fantastic he had some really pretty songs and his guitar playing was amazingly beautiful and he to told this really cool story about love and death and it was like a fictional like I don't know, it was, it was a really cool story. So he was amazing, and my mom and I actually met him afterwards because he was standing outside. So, well, she kind of met him, and I could have, I kind of stood next to her. But, um, you know, it still kind of counts. So he knows her name, and I was standing next to her when she told it, so. But he was really cool. John Foreman was so good, and he had a cello player, and the cello player was so good. And he had a drum player, and the drum player was so good. <laughs> Drummer. Drummer is the correct term for that, not drum player. Sorry, I don't know if I'm tired or if I'm just trying to talk too fast. <laughs> Drummer. So they were really good. And it was just, John is amazing. And it was amazing because I love Switchfoot and Switchfoot is actually featured in After Midnight. I use them heavily in my story. I've grown up listening to them and John's lyrics are so fantastic. And it was just incredibly cool to see him on stage and hear his voice and be like, oh my gosh, this is the guy that I listen to on the CDs all the time. Like his lyrics are just always blowing my mind. 
always like every time you listen to Switchfoot, it's like something stands out to you where it's just like, wow, like. I want to write like that, I want to be like that, I want to move people like that. Like, he's just so cool. <laughs> I brought After Midnight along with me on the off chance that we could have maybe met him. I don't know, you never know what happens and those kinds of things, you know. Because I did meet Tyson. Could have met Emblem 3 a couple years ago. I didn't because I didn't know them at that point, but I like them now. I have met two of the Jonas Brothers, so you just never know. You never know. So always expect the unexpected. Be hopeful about your days. I don't know. The point is, the concert was fantastic and I would love to do it again I would love to be there again like now it's very cold Virginia was very cold and very cold now and I'm planning to go see my brother at his hockey game and it's gonna be cold in the stadium and I'm gonna be cold I think he likes the college he likes the hockey bit of it he got himself a jersey he's got a couple t-shirts now I've got a ton of paraphernalia from them he's also still kind of considering SEU hopefully some other places hopefully we can take him some other places so I can get out of town please <laughs> do some more vlogs for you but the campus was huge Audie's campus is like minuscule compared to this campus and it's it's a nice campus it's a nice campus it looked really pretty with all the trees red and yellow and green and orange and like everything in that town is like centered around that college so that's kind of interesting it's kind of cool like just everything in the town is about liberty <laughs> and it was really cool what the college stands for traffic there was insane people were pretty nice I have to say I liked people at SCU better because I interacted with them more and like I got to just fall right into Audie's friend group, you know, and I don't know, just people in Florida are so nice, man. I love people in Florida. I love Florida. It's so much warmer too, so that gives it so many bonus points. Alright, I think I'm rambling now. I'm going off on a tangent. I think this should be the end. Don't know what you're gonna see next. Don't know when this is coming out exactly, which is what I've been ending all of my videos with, but so get used to it. It's not gonna change anytime soon. We should be here. What? The coffee? coffee? You can have it. Are you sure? Yeah. Because I'm looking for honey that your mom might have brought. That's okay. Just well, finish it. Just some organic cane sugar if you want it. No. Just finish it. I will. Okay. okay. Yep. <laughs> the camera? <laughs> yeah. Um, only if you don't. Only if you buy. But if you buy the kids version, you don't have to have the whole thing. Okay. Yeah. Woo. Hold on. Let me just rearrange here.